Hey guys and gals, I'm Haley, and today we're going to do some drip or pour painting. Before we start, I'm going to light up an incense today. Man, I just, I love the smell of incense. Mostly earthy smells. I believe this is Nag Champa, which is my most favorite incense. The materials we will need today are a flower pot, some acrylic paint, multiple colors and any colors you want, some popsicle sticks or stirs, you can even use paint brushes, some cups, A bottle of water. Any ideas? A little bit of dish soap. Any brand will do. You're also going to need a container for the paint to drip in and something to hold your pot up. It has to be tall enough so the base isn't touching anything. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is prepare our paint. So let's get out our cups. You need as many cups as you do colors. Make sure to shake up your acrylic paint because sometimes the color in it can settle at the bottom and the top will be very watery. You're going to want to put a little bit of each color in the bottom of each cup to start with. You don't need too much, just a little bit because you can always add more. So now we're going to prepare our water. So get your water bottle and we're going to put two or three drops small drops of uh, dish soap in it. It's gonna it's gonna help disperse the paint a little bit. Now we need to shake it up to mix the soap with the water. So now to add our water soap concoction. You want to add a little bit at a time because you don't want it too liquidy. Like you don't want it to uh, run straight down your flower pot. So you want it to have a little bit of thickness, but not too much where it's just going to sit there. You need it to actually pour over the cup. So if you find that you put too much water in it like I did, you can then just add some more paint and just keep going back and forth until you get um, the perfect consistency. So now that our paint's ready, let's get our pot and our empty container and put our pot in right side up in the container. I'm going to be using this for our incense holder later, not for flowers. So I want to do the top inside of it so that um, the whole thing's covered, not just the outside. So, you're going to take your stirrer or popsicle stick, paintbrush, whatever you're using, and you're going to dab your, uh, your paint on there, whatever colors you want, and you're just going to just start dabbing them on. And notice how the paint just drips down the pot. That's the kind of consistency you want.
you just want to keep alternating colors and moving the pot around until you get the effect you want in the right colors where you want them. This part is completely optional. We're going to use that lighter that we used for the incense. This is only for those who are 18 years or older or have parent supervision. I'm going to use the lighter to help pop bubbles in your paint. Dry your paint and if you leave the flame on your paint long enough it will darken and kind of burn it. And it can give you this cool different look to your paint. Again this is completely optional and up to you. Okay, now we need whatever you got to hold up your um, flower pot. We're going to put our flower pot upside down on that. And again, you don't want the bottom touching um, your container because you want to allow the paint to drip free. Now to start painting again. So you can do what you see here um, with me pouring the paint over. but. I said I didn't like that because I was putting too much paint on because I had a small flower pot. So I decided to use my stirrer and um, dab the paint on. As you can see, I'm actually only doing one half first, and the reason I'm doing that is just to make it easier on me so I don't have to keep spinning the pot, and to make it easier for when I um, dry it with a uh, lighter. heating up the paint again to pop the bubbles and uh, dry the paint. Remember if you leave the flame on it too long it'll burn and it could create a cool effect for it. And here is my finished half. So I went ahead and did the other side and now I'm going to light up another inset. Here is my completed drip painted pot. This part is also optional. I'm going to stencil on good vibes to my pot. You can copy me, you can write your own saying down, or you don't even have to put words on it at all. You do whatever you want to do. To put on my words, I'm just tracing out a stencil with a black colored pencil and I'm going to go back in and paint it in with white and then outline it with black.
Now I'm going back in with my white acrylic paint and a small paintbrush and filling in my letters. Time for a second coat just to make sure none of those other colors are popping out. Going in with the black now and just going over the outside of the letters just to make them stand out even more against the very colorful background. And here's the finished product. Alright guys and gals, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. The video for how to make the glittery gold bowl is in the top left hand corner and a suggested video is in the top right. Please comment down below for what you would like to see in a future episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos.